Sometimes when you're fooling around with makeup, you can come up with absolutely awful looks, such as the one I have on today. Looks like I'm channeling Baby Spice. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty bad, and I just put it on for the sake of making this video so I can show you some good makeup removers that you already have lying around your house. So, I'm going to show you how they work. That's why I put on this awful look. And I recommend them for eye makeup and face makeup. Not for lips, just because, you know, lips you just wipe it off and it's fine. But yeah, so I purposely put on liquid eyeliner, regular eyeliner, mascara, eyeshadow, and a base so that you can get the full effect of how easily they come off and what is better for what. So, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start off with this eye, which I am going to remove with Vaseline. Now, Vaseline, as you all know, is this stuff. It's basically petroleum jelly, if you want to get a different brand. And, um, it you can use it as a moisturizer. It's meant to be used as a moisturizer, not for your face. I mean, like, for skin in general, like you can put it on your lips, you can do whatever. It's meant to be like a lubricant type thing, um, and also revealing like cuts, whatever. Um, so the only thing about this is it'll leave your skin very shiny, but you can either wipe it with a towel or just wash your face. So I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to take a little cotton pad type thing. I'm going to put it in here lightly because I want it on here, not in globs, but just to have this thing lightly coated. I don't know if you can tell, but you can tell when it's shiny, if there's anything on it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take it, put it over my eye, and just wipe. See how I'm just wiping it? Okay. And most of it just came off, and that was with one little section, but See all that? And I'm just going to take right here. I'm going to put it in again. I'm going to get that liner. And I know it's going to feel weird on your eyelashes, but it gets off the mascara really well that way. Okay? I'm just swiping under. And there's a little liquid eyeliner left on the top. Okay? All right. So my top eye makeup is now completely removed, and as you can tell, there's a little black right there, but I'm going to use that to show you my next makeup remover. What I did just now is I just kind of rubbed my eyelashes down here to get all the black there to um, show you the next thing, which I think would work well with that type of thing, um, moisturizer whatever moisturizer you use in the morning if you moisturize and you still have a little black under your eye because even when you wash off your makeup sometimes mascara or eyeliner will still be there in the morning like just sitting right here under your eye making its own little type of under eye circle so when that happens what I do is I take one of these cotton pads again and I put a tiny 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 bit of my moisturizer, wipe it over to spread it out pretty good, and then you're just going to take it, put it under here, and wipe it. And you do that, not only will it moisturize under your eye, but it will remove the makeup instantly and leave your skin moisturized and soft, which is really good. So now this eye is completely relieved of makeup using just average objects around the house and it's perfectly fine. This eye still has a lot of makeup on it. And we're going to take that off with olive oil. And I'm not sure if you're supposed to use regular 100% olive oil or um, extra virgin olive oil, but I have extra virgin here. And you have to put it in a really tightly sealed container. Like, this one's meant to lock. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to go like this. Because if you dip the whole cotton pad in here, it'll be soaked, and then you're going to be an oily mess. But if you do it this way, you can just wipe it off on the cap. And I'm tapping it just in case it leaks. See, now the cap has a lot of olive oil, but not too much. So we're going to take a cotton remover pad thingy again. 
we're going to take the lid that has olive oil on it. We're going to just press it in there a little bit. See how it's like that. You can even fold it over to just kind of spread it out so it's not too much. So it's going to look like that. You're going to place it over the part of your eye where it has some makeup. Just hold it a little bit so it can soak. And then you're going to wipe. And this you're gonna see all that. This you're gonna have to do it again because I want to make sure you got everything. But you see how easy this works? Instead of spending a lot of money on a makeup remover, you can just take things you already have. Okay. So all the makeup is off, and once again you have the little black underneath that never wants to go away. And I'm just going to fold this in half and just wipe under there. You can, hopefully, see. It's all really shiny here, like as if it's like really oily. What you can do is you can take another um, cotton pad and just wipe, wipe it off. All the oil. And... Or what I recommend doing is washing your face. So definitely wash your face. And over here where I did the Vaseline, you, if you can't see it, but if you felt it, it feels like the Vaseline's still there, even if it might not look like it. So I definitely rec recommend washing your face for that too, or you can just wipe it out with the Vaseline. Just push it into the skin. So now I officially have no makeup on my eyes. And... That was very easy. And the last eye makeup remover that this one I definitely recommend using definitely every night. Which I don't have with me right now, but you know what it is. Johnson & Johnson's Baby Shampoo. The tear-free one. You could use any tear-free baby shampoo. I know I got one at the dollar store to wash my brushes with just because Johnson & Johnson's so expensive. But I don't recommend using a dollar store one on your eyes because it won't really be tear-free. I uh, know because uh, it burned my eyes and it was not fun. But you take the Johnson Johnson's Baby Shampoo, you squirt a tiny bit in your hands, lather it up, wash your eyes. Like you can, and the best part is since it's um, tear free, you can rub deep into your eyes and just get all the makeup off while you're in the shower or not in the shower, whenever you want. And the best thing about it's this, it's really good for your eyes because last time I went to the eye doctor, she recommended me washing my eyes with Johnson & Johnson Baby Shampoo because um, she said it gets rid of bacteria that can build up on your eyelashes and your eyelid at the bottom right here because there is actually surprisingly a lot of bacteria on people's eyelids and she told me to do that like every day and um, I do for the most part it gets off your eye makeup really really good it's like amazing so also any of these products you can use on your face itself you can you can definitely do that and as a matter of fact I'll show you I'm going to take the Vaseline and take some of it. See, and I'm just going to wipe it right here. And like I said, it's a moisturizer too. So I'm just going to wipe it on my face. Man, oh man, that takes off quite a bit of makeup. Like I said, I've never owned a makeup remover, nor do I plan on it, because these household items work fine for me, and I didn't even have to buy them. We already had them. Okay. If you're wondering how I heard of these, olive oil I heard of from lots of people, especially makeup blogger, who is on YouTube, and she's really great. You should definitely subscribe to her. Um... The lotion thing, I kind of thought of myself, but I'm sure there's plenty of other people that do it. Baby shampoo, I heard it from an eye doctor, which tells you it's definitely good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Comment below. Thank you very much.